Oregon Music Hall of Fame. It's induction night. We've had some great people coming in, and uh, we're sitting here chatting with, well, I consider him a friend. We've known each other for a long time through a number of different musical adventures. Uh, loved your work with Blue Binos and Pepe and the Bottle Blondes. One of my favorite drummers in town. Nice. This is Corey Burden, and he's here tonight to talk to us about uh, one of our inductees tonight, the late, great Brian Berg. Thanks, Dave. Who you will work together in uh, 44 long. How long ago was that? Um, that would have been in probably the mid-90s we started working together. And uh, we'd met, he, I, don't, I don't even know that he knew that I was in uh, in the Blue Binos, or uh, maybe he did, but I got to him w with him to work with him with uh, Mark Sten, who was in the Oblivion Seekers, and it was one of those times where I was with the Oblivion Seekers for oh, like a month, you know, let's rehearse a little bit and play a few gigs, and then that was, I didn't want to do something different. Um, but Brian came in and, and rehearsed, and he was like, he was he was sort of a mellow guy, great guitar player, he was he was funny, but it, he seemed like a pretty quiet, fairly quiet. Um, we went to go do the show at the Pine Street Theater, and the first thing I did is I look over at Brian, he shakes his head, takes a swig of beer, spits it in the air, and goes, whoo! <laughs> I was like, oh, this is going to be a good show. Here we go. So, so yeah, and, then, and uh, we just and immediately had a friendship at that point in time, and he uh, was putting a, so he's going to put this band together. I've got some songs. I want you to come play uh, some, some drums on this for this record. And I go over to his house. He had his studio set up. I didn't know any of the music, and he sort of had it written out a little bit, kind of how he wanted it to go. I'm just going to play a little scratch guitar, and and then you're going to play along. That's kind of what I want. Uh, played a couple songs. One in particular, if you get a chance to listen to that, it's uh, Fall Off the Wagon. I didn't hear that song. I recorded it. Didn't really know what it was about, words, lyrics, anything. Didn't even hear the final song until it was mixed on the CD. So. Playing this final CD was just a, just jaw dropping for me because that song really is a, it's just a really a special song, and you know I got to play on that. You're on that, <laughs> which by the way it's it's what comes up on YouTube when you yeah you put Brian Berg in the search bar. Uh, yeah, so great stuff. Yeah, that and you know and then there was other songs where he would come and um, he would have played. He, he was a wonderful drummer. He could play every instrument. He would give you a pre-recorded song where he played the drums. Put, played the bass, played the guitar, played the keyboards, did the vocals, did the backing vocals, gave it to you and you go, here, it's a song, play this. <laughs> Which for a drummer sometimes is like, that's, well, that's great, that's easy. <laughs> I know what to do. Um, but uh, yeah, he just, he had a wonderful creative, wonderfully creative, but uh, really, really just a lot of energy. He was introverted a, a bit, but he would, you know, there's, he would get he would get relaxed and he went out, you know. I think that, that was one thing that, uh, you know, was a wonderful thing about Brian, also a little bit of Brian's demons. And uh, so, but he was, you know, he was one of the most loving people though. Uh, he, he, wasn't, uh, he wasn't judgmental, he wasn't, he didn't have any of that. He was, a, he was very, very, very honest uh, as a human being. And uh, which was, again, again to his real specialness and it shows in his lyrics and it shows in his songs. Well, it's great to see you again. Oh, good yeah. to see Dave, yeah. And it's nice to be able to induct Brian Berg into the Oregon Music Hall of Fame. What are your thoughts on the uh, on the Hall of Fame and its mission of keeping music alive for future generations? We, Our, our goal is to uh, fund music scholarships every year because, sadly, uh, legislatures are looking to the arts to cut. It's usually one of the first places they look, and it kind of falls on other hands to keep the machine rolling. Yeah. Uh, how important do you think it is to keep music alive in in the future, I, uh, to me, it's critical. You know, I'm walking example of somebody who, if I didn't have music in my life, where I would have been, probably not in a very good place, because uh, you know, it's a little, little dicey there for a while. But music was always a very centering thing for me. I watch it, and I watch it in my youngest daughter, who is very involved with music, she's involved with you know, Pacific Youth Choir, with, uh, uh, with Mia Hall Miller, and very, just watching her experience what exceptionalism is in music and she can move that into what she experienced in her in her life in her school life it's you know I, I just think it connects a lot of dots for people um, I think it's just critical to keep that in the schools and keep that as a as an extracurricular activity that you know I think is pretty vital to me well thanks for coming and yeah. joining us tonight as we induct Brian Berg into the Oregon Music Hall of Fame Great. thank you Dave tonight's the night